Ukraine announced new landings of Ukrainian military personnel in Crimea. The head of the main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Kirillo Budinov, has announced new operations by the Ukrainian military in the temporarily occupied Crimea. In response to the journalists' question about whether there are any new landings being prepared in Crimea, Budinov replied affirmatively, yes, they are being prepared, and they will happen. Soon it will be warm, so we will continue. Crimea will be returned, emphasized the head of the main directorate of intelligence. Budinov stated that Russian occupiers do not abandon plans to once again seize the Ukrainian Zeminyi island, regularly launching missile and bomb attacks. They regularly carry out missile and bomb strikes. There has been information several times, and we have seen its confirmation about conducting a similar operation as we once did. Budanov said, however, according to him, it is impossible to do so. But they couldn't do it because knocking out the garrison from the island is already unrealistic, emphasize the head of the main directorate of intelligence. The main directorate of intelligence fighters conducted several ground operations in the temporarily occupied Crimea. For example, on August the 24th, 2023, reconnaissance troops managed to carry out a sortie near the settlement of Mayak on the Tarkankut Cape. A battle took place within the framework of the main Directorate of Intelligence special operation involving naval assets and aviation. In turn, Russian sources began to invent their own version of the so-called Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance groups allegedly destroyed. In reality, at least 30 occupiers were destroyed and four high-speed boats were damaged as part of the special operation. Furthermore, on October the 4th, Ukrainian special forces again landed in the occupied Crimea and inflicted a fiery defeat on the Russian occupiers. It is noted that a fierce battle took place as part of this operation, resulting in significant losses among Russian soldiers. Thank you. 